So I once got into a conversation with a lady at Westminster Abbey who was who assumed that Henry VIII was buried there. And when we started talking about Henry VIII, she was like, oh yeah, he's the one who killed all these wives, wasn't he? So we got into um, a discussion about Henry and about his wives. Now, just from that, it made me think, actually, I wonder if people realise that one of his wives outlived not just him, but every other, um, what well, so what every other wife as well, and it was Henry VIII's fourth wife, Anne of Cleves. She in fact lived for a further ten years after Henry died, and a further nine years after Catherine Parr, which was Henry's last wife, died. And Anne had been sort of the victim, really, of a failed political alliance. The the marriage between Henry and Anne was supposed to um, give Henry some sort of assistance in Europe because he was he was unpopular because of his divorce with Catherine of Aragon and his break from Rome. So, so this alliance was supposed to be helpful. Now, Henry wasn't too keen on this sort of alliance because he had married for love pretty much every time. Well, he had. He'd married for love. And the idea that he was going to marry somebody he'd not met and hadn't chosen for himself didn't sit too well. But the portrait that Holbein had had uh, um, painted, a little miniature, he was quite happy with. He thought she was quite beautiful in that. And when they finally met, he was completely turned off by her. And he claimed that they never consummated the marriage because he just didn't fancy her enough. And the marriage was finally dissolved six months later. Now, that could have spelt the end of Anne um, in terms of her life even, and, and certainly in terms of favour with the king, knowing what Henry Henry had been like with, uh, with other people in his life that didn't please him. But in fact, they became quite close, and he referred to her as his sister. And she got given uh, land and, and houses and, and whatever in the divorce settlement. So she was quite a wealthy lady in her own right. She never remarried. I think she, from what I read, she possibly held out hope that at some point Henry might decide to marry her. Um, they did get on very well. But one of the places that she inherited was in fact Hever Castle, which was Anne Boleyn's childhood home. Well, that became Anne of Cleves during their, in their divorce settlement. But yeah, so Henry had died in January 1547. And Anne of Cleves didn't die until July 1557. So she lived um, for 10 years longer than uh, than Henry. So um, she saw quite a bit. If you think about what happened in the 10 years after Henry's death with Edward and then unto Mary, she saw a lot of um, of the changes and, and really significant events. So there you go. Anne of Cleves, Henry VIII's fourth wife, she is the one who outlived Henry and all the other wives. And if you want to know more about Henry, I've got a Henry VIII month running in the membership group at the moment. Just have a look at the website and I'll, I'll put a link down below as well. If you want to know more information about the membership, um, you can look on www.britishhistorytours.com forward slash membership. I hope to see you there. Bye.